starting the vlog off with an OOTD because why not? But this is what I'm wearing today. I'm still so surprised that I haven't had to switch to maternity jeans or shorts yet. Still wearing just my normal jean shorts. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna wear today. I have to use this tripod today. Um, this is just my little mini one because I broke, I guess you wouldn't, I mean, yes, I broke it, but I didn't like do anything specifically to break it, but my old tripod broke. It like snapped in half on one of like the metal pieces. So not really a replaceable or fixable part, unfortunately. So today I actually do need to look for a new tripod. Um, not that I couldn't vlog with this because I certainly could, but it's not how I prefer to. It's just so much easier to do it with like a standing tripod. I'm gonna look for a tripod, probably just on Amazon. And then I also need to, uh, while I'm already like investing in YouTube stuff, I have desperately needed <laughs> to buy backup batteries for this camera because I literally only have one and <laughs> just a little behind the scenes of my vlogging life because I know that some people are a lot more organized than me throughout my vlogs, probably for the past like year, maybe longer since I've only had one battery. I have to charge my battery multiple times during the vlog. So if there's like a period of time where I know I'm not gonna be feel filming something, I throw that battery into the charger and charge it as long as possible. It is not ideal. Sorry if this is not interesting to anybody, but maybe there's someone watching that's interested in vlogging themselves. So yes, we have baby tripod today. Anyways, Elliot is finishing up his nap and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. All right, so all loaded up. I just gave him one of these little that's it bars. I get these at Costco. Very easy for him to eat. Simple ingredients, literally only apples and mangoes <laughs> in this one at least. One of the updates is we're in a transition um, of Nick's jobs. So we are very, very excited about that. And so he's actually working today, but he put in his two weeks a couple days ago and then his boss <laughs> fired him. So that's been quite interesting. Luckily, we have some great friends who have kind of hooked him up with some odd jobs for this in-between jobs situation. So we're super grateful for that. And that's what he is doing today. Are you drinking water, bud? We've had an interesting morning, like a very good morning, um, but a lot of stuff got done this morning. I actually ended up giving both the boys, my husband and Elliot, haircuts this morning after breakfast. They both got fresh cuts, they're looking good. And then I basically was vacuuming up the all the hair and then just decided to vacuum the entire house. I feel kind of tired already and it's only 11.30. That's okay. Pregnancy gets me tired regardless. So let's go grocery shopping. So here is my haul from Walmart this week. So I got two of the 18 count white eggs and then I got the value pack of the chicken breast because I have a crock pot meal. Chicken tacos that I'm doing this weekend um, we're hosting. So picked up the big thing of chicken and then I got more gorillas. If you saw my previous grocery haul, I picked these up for the first time and I absolutely loved them. So I still have a little bit left, but I wanted to have these on hand because they're so good. Um, and also in my last haul, I mentioned I wanted to become a cottage cheese eater. 
So I decided to pick up the Daisy brand instead of the Great Value brand. This, the ingredients were just way more simple in this one. The Great Value one had like a bunch of added stuff in there um, that was just confusing. Cottage cheese is confusing still to me, but this one is the small curd. Last time I got large. This one's 4% milk fat. Like, should I be getting non-fat? I don't really know cottage cheese jargon but Elliot loves cottage cheese. I didn't mind it, so I wanna keep eating it and trying it because it is a great source of protein. So I'm gonna try it maybe on toast this week. And then I got some vitamin D whole milk for lattes, but mostly for Elliot. Cheese, because we are going to do a lote when we're hosting, so we're gonna do chicken tacos in the crock pot and then do um, corn on the cob, a lote, probably on the grill. I got some more string cheese, Elliot loves these. And then, so my produce for the week, I got some bell peppers, I got some more avocados. These are a must, we go through avocados very quickly. Tons of bananas. And then I picked up another bag of these Honeycrisp apples because they are so good and I've had one every single day. So I only have one left, which I will eat today. So decided to get another bag because they're just delicious. I also picked up a frozen pizza on the nights when we are just so tired and don't wanna cook. Obviously I mentioned we got corn for the elote, corn on the cob, five ears of corn. Um, I got some more old fashioned oats. We've been going through our oats very, very quickly and then some cereal for Nick. I don't eat cereal all that often, but Nick does. So picked him up some honey bunches of oats, knock off. Um, I did get a loaf of bread for toast, avocado toast, maybe cottage cheese toast. And then Nick has mentioned wanting to make sandwiches, but usually I, I buy a loaf of bread and he doesn't eat a single slice of it and then it goes bad. We don't eat a lot of bread in this household for some reason. <laughs> and then this was has been on my list for a while. I am out of chocolate chips. So for any baking things, I haven't had any chocolate chips on hand. So definitely needed to pick up some chocolate chips. And then we are almost out of our ranch. So got another thing of ranch, but that is the haul for today. Total of $86. I'm really excited about the different meals we're gonna try, especially with the elote and the chicken tacos. We're excited about hosting this weekend. just the day for groceries because I also got my Thrive order in. I haven't shopped at Thrive for a couple months, so I wanted to get some of the things that they had on sale, so I figured I'll give you a Thrive grocery haul as well. So I got three bags of these plantain chips with sea salt. I love these. These are so good. Just a nice salty little snack when I am feeling like something salty. We have tried these before. They're the dried organic mangoes covered. No, they're not chocolate covered. Maybe I'm thinking about the chocolate covered pineapples, but these are just dried mangoes, which are fantastic. I love dried mangoes and no added sugar. So if you've bought the ones at Costco, I think there's two different kinds. I don't like the ones with all the sugar on the outside. They're just not for me. I like the ones that are just like plain. I got some of the Simple Mills peanut butter chocolate chip. So it says new recipe, but I'm not entirely sure what they changed on it. We liked the old recipe and I'm sure we'll like the new one. This sounded really yummy. It is a jalapeno sauce. So, Nick and I love spicy things and Siete is a great brand. We like their chips. So this is made with avocado oil and I just think that this is gonna be so 
good on just like tacos or just like we literally put hot sauce on everything i could probably put these on eggs burritos i'm just really excited to try a new sauce with good ingredients and then i got some celtic sea salt uh, I want to start using this maybe in my coffee because I always do like a honey sea salt latte and this is like really high quality salt um, with good minerals in it. I know everyone's raving about this salt so I'm excited to have it now on hand. Then I also picked up some of their organic white jasmine rice. So I wanted to try their jasmine rice because I am almost out of my jasmine rice. I also got some raw pine nuts pine nuts are so expensive you guys oh these were on sale a little bit so they weren't as expensive but boy oh boy <laughs> i don't buy them very often because they're so expensive but i do love to add these on salads you can also make your own pesto with it um i'm getting a call i also got thrive market brand of organic cow powder for baking um, I have cocoa powder, another call. Um, I have cocoa powder, but I did want to have this on hand for certain types of baking recipes. And then I wanted to try Thrive's granola. I have a granola from Costco that I've been absolutely loving, but I'm almost out of it. I am gonna try their toasted vanilla crunch. See how I like that. Then I picked up Thrive Market tortilla chips, just sea salt flavor, and it's made with avocado oil. Tortilla chips when I make my homemade guacamole, which I've shown you in a previous vlog. So if you want to know how I make my guacamole, I'll leave that linked. And then, oh, I guess I got another granola. So I got two different Thrive Market granolas. This is the double dark chocolate chip granola. So this definitely seems more decadent. I'm excited for some different flavors of granola that will really spice up my yogurts in the morning. Three of the Thrive Market coconut oil potato chips in the Himalayan pink salt flavor. And these are kettle cooked. I really like the Lay's kettle cooked, but these are um, much better for you. I'm hoping I like these just as much. I got the Primal Kitchen Mayonnaise and it's made with avocado oil. I use mayonnaise a lot for tons of different sauces, different pasta salads. So I really wanted to try this mayonnaise. I've heard very good things about it. I know it has better ingredients and definitely a smaller jar than my big mayonnaise, but I still want to give it a shot. That is my Thrive Market haul. Tibbs is coming to look. We've only had Thrive for four or five months, I think, at this point. I think we got it kind of early on in the year. And then we've also been talking about getting a Costco membership as well. As our family grows and as I see how much food we are consuming, like a lot more food because Elliot eats almost as much as a grown adult, it's kind of crazy wild and then knowing that you know we have another little one on the way that we're just gonna need more food and i like buying in bulk so costco seems like a really good um, option for us we are going to get a costco membership um, they are actually the same price so it's 60 dollars for the whole year 60 dollars for thrive 60 dollars for costco but i do believe like every thrive member has like a friends referral that can save whoever signs up some money. And then I think I probably get like some Thrive credit. I'm not really sure how that works because I'm not, this isn't sponsored by them at all. Um, I've actually, fun fact, never made a sponsored video or post. So if I can find a friend's referral link, I will put it in the description so that if you're interested in trying out Thrive, that you can save some money either on your first order or the membership in general. I'm not quite sure, but I do know that obviously friends referrals like work both ways. Thrive Market has a lot of very healthy alternatives, which we really like because we are kind of on a slow progression of eating healthier and just getting healthier pantry staples as well. If that's something you're also interested in, Thrive has a lot of choices and better options. I think 
I'm gonna go outside. Elliot hasn't fallen asleep yet, but I really wanna do some yard work and I wanna show you this awesome little chainsaw that I got sent. It is so much fun. Okay, so Elliot didn't really wanna nap, so he came outside with me, but I wanted to show you this little electric chainsaw that the company reached out and wanted me to review and um, use. I've used it multiple times. I've had it for almost a month at this point. I'm obsessed with this thing. <laughs> I love this so much. It also comes with the safety goggles. Very important. It is kind of perfect for our needs in our yard. So this is what comes in the kit. Like I said, it comes with the little safety goggles, the user manual. It does even come with gloves, which is really nice. And obviously this is the little chainsaw itself. It comes with two batteries, which is awesome. Um, an extra chain and then just some tools to help you put on the chain. Then it comes in the little carrying case, which is really nice for storage. Definitely had some branches hanging over the driveway that I've had to cut down and this just makes it so much easier. And then some trees kind of in the back here behind this like retaining wall. Ultimately all of these, you see these little ones here? Um, I want those gone. <laughs> I like to use the little chainsaw for things like this that are just like smaller trees. So I'll show you one of the things that I've been <laughs> wanting to cut down. We have all this wooded um, hilly area, but if you can see this, this one tree that's like hanging over, it's just like growing towards the house. <laughs> um, and I wanna cut that down. I'm gonna be honest, like I grew up doing this stuff we used to cut down trees all the time, but I've never actually used <laughs> like a proper chainsaw myself. That was always my dad, my grandpa, my brothers. I would just help with the cleanup and like smaller tasks. So I'll be honest, yes, I'm an outdoorsy girl, but I'm also very intimidated by a real chainsaw. This is kind of a perfect bridge the gap for me. <laughs> just cut down i actually cut down three separate little trees one was just dead so cut that down this one was just getting annoying and in my way so I cut that down and then this was the big one that was leaning so i decided to cut that down and then i'm gonna go um i've already kind of started but i'm gonna go and kind of chop it up into smaller like kindling size pieces so i'll show you how i did that i just did it like this so smaller pieces that are more easily burnable, which as you can see, I've already been doing that. These have been laying here for a couple weeks now, but I'm happy to have that tree cut down and it's not leaning over into the house, which is awesome. This chainsaw is literally perfect. It makes it so easy to do that stuff. I think it's like 40 or $50 on Amazon, which is just I feel like a fantastic deal for what you're getting. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description in case this is, I know this is like a niche product, right? Not everyone needs a mini chainsaw, but for those of you that do, I highly, highly suggest this one. And I love that it has multiple batteries and it's one of my favorite little tools now. <laughs> All right, a little bit of an update. This is what I've been working on. All of the carnage from just trying to cut bushes like this that are like next to the retaining wall. Just trying to cut those back because they grow like crazy. <laughs> Taking a little bit of break. I don't think I'm gonna get around to trimming these today. Kind of tired as a pregnant woman, <laughs> but this is a good start. Just trying to clear all of this stuff and yeah the previous owners definitely used the retaining wall to hide all of their junk like this is a metal mattress spring and who knows what that is anyways there's tons of that kind of junk behind this retaining wall so eventually we want to clean all that stuff out but that is a another project you know i love being a homeowner but there are things that are just annoying that you have to deal with Mama working outside? Oh, thank you. Thank you. 
thank you for helping. Oh, thank you. You brought me more leaves. Can you hand that to Mama? Excellent. Mama's hands are getting full. Thank you, baby. All right, well, just when you thought this day couldn't have any more unboxings of food, we just got this, which looks like it's from Nick's parents. It says, to a new chapter. So we're all celebrating Nick getting a new job. We've definitely talked about celebrating Nick's job moves. So it's fun that his family is also celebrating from afar. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got some sweet Italian sausage links. Beef dry aged petite Denver. Do you know what that is? I'm not like all uppity up on my meat, so I'm not really sure what that even means. We've got some ground beef, some uncured bacon. Oh, this looks like really good bacon. Oh my gosh, there's more stuff. <laughs> I thought that was it. There's a whole nother layer. Then we've got, oh my gosh, a boneless ribeye. His parents are so sweet. Sirloin filet, boneless chop, and another boneless ribeye. Oh my gosh, and another sirloin filet. Y'all, what the heck? That's so, so sweet of them. Oh my gosh. There is a story behind why they got us meat specifically on Nick's last day that we didn't know was gonna be his last day. One of the clients that they used to work for was giving a bunch of the guys on the crew meat, but he felt bad like taking meat when he was putting his two weeks in. And then, you know, that ended up being his last day anyways. So his family just was like, we'll buy you some meat. We'll send you some meat. So now we've got all this awesome, awesome meat. I love it. We are literally so incredibly blessed. Currently on second shift and just trying to psych myself up to get through this next little bit before bedtime. Cause I'm tired and honestly, I could probably go to sleep right now. <laughs> Um, leave a comment saying that you're here. I'd love to know who's watching and I will see you in the next video.